Hello, I'm Zvika from Nilusoft and I'm going to show you today how to use uh, two of my utilities together to create a power, powerful uh, process. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this uh, drop folder, you can see it's an empty folder. Uh, this drop folder is going to accept uh, encrypted files. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to detect those new files and automatically decrypt them. Okay, to do it, we're going to use two of my utilities. The first one is Command Line Encryptor, which is used to uh, encrypt and decrypt files. And the second one is Watch for Folder, which is my uh, folder monitoring utility. It can monitor different activities uh, in a folder or in a few folders. Okay, so <coughs> uh, again, the target of this uh, demonstration is to show you how Watch for Folder can detect new files. Uh, in this drop folder, and now we can, uh, it can initiate command line encryptor to, to automatically decrypt these files. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to create a batch file. Okay, so let's go to new text file. Uh, you can leave this name at this point, we'll change it later. Uh, open it, okay, and here I'm going to insert a very simple command. Okay, the first, first thing that we want to do we are going to appoint the batch file to the correct folder. Okay, demo. You can see this is the same folder. Okay, see demo. Okay, now we are going to execute CRP, which is CRP is here, which is a, a, our a command line a encryptor decryptor. Now we are going to enter a few parameters and I'm going to explain each one of them. The first one will be minus D. Minus D goes for decrypt. If I wanted to encrypt files, I would use minus E. Okay, but because I am going to decrypt, I will use minus D. Okay, the, the next thing, the next parameter that I'm going to, to insert is a percentage one. Percentage one actually is a variable uh, and it represents the name of the file that is going to be dropped inside this drop folder. Because we don't know the name of the file that we are expecting for, we are going to use variable, okay? Now, the next parameter is going to be the output file. This is the input file, okay? This is the input decrypted file. Now, we are going to uh, generate from it another uh, decrypted file, okay? So, uh, the, the name will be the same name, so we are going to use, again, percentage one, but just to distinguish between the encrypted and the output decrypted file, we're going to add another dot .text extension to the file name. The next parameter is going to be the paraphrase. The paraphrase is actually the password that we are using as a key to encrypt, to encrypt the file. Okay, so I know what was the the paraphrase of, uh, uh, the encryption time, so I have to use the same paraphrase again, and it go, it is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, and the last parameter is going to be minus y. Minus y. Uh, tells a uh, command line encryptor to delete this original file. So at the end of all this process, we're going to stay in our drop folder with only the new decrypted file. So let's see the command again. We are running command line encryptor. We are going to decrypt this uh, uh, file and we're going to generate another, uh, from it, another uh, decrypted file by using this key to open the encryption and delete the original file. Okay, we are finished now. Let's save it and close. And now it's a good time to rename it to a batch file name. So I will call it go.bat. Okay, yes. And basically now we are almost ready, but we need also to configure watch for folder to monitor this folder and execute this batch file. What we are going to do, okay, we want watch for folder to monitor this drop file for new coming files and when a new file will arrive, it will uh, initiate our batch file which will execute command line encryptor and decrypt the new files. So let's open now watch for folder, okay. Uh, I'm using the free version, as you can see here, uh, because the free version is ca can monitor only a single uh, folder and this is enough for this demonstration. 
let's jump to watch setting and the first thing that we need to do is to select our target folder the folder that we want to monitor i'm going to demo and drop folder you can see this is the selected folder this is the folder that watch for folder is going to monitor okay i don't have any subfolder so i will not check this checkbox and i'm also going to skip the events to monitor and you will see why shortly the next step is to uh, check this checkbox that let me execute a program batch or script okay and now let's browse and select our batch file i cannot see the batch file here because i have a filter for exe files only i will go to that and now i can see the batch file that we have just created you can see now here uh, the our command line okay open now you can see that uh, what for folder is ready to execute this bot okay but how uh, watch for folder and the batch file will know the name of the file this is where the fun uh, stuff happening here we are going to check this checkbox and move to automatically mode automatically mode means that we are not selecting the event the event to monitor will be selected according to the kind of argument that we want to pass to the batch file so i'm going to open this dropbox and i'm selecting the first one the first one is file create so automatically file create is selected here i didn't select it and uh, watch for folder selected it automatically so i'm going to monitor this demo folder for a file create and when a file will be created i'm going to take this file name not me watch for folder will take it and will pass this file name as a parameter to go.bat okay dot go bat will replace the percentage one that we insert as a command with the file name okay so the next step will be only to give it a name okay i will call it demo and apply okay now uh, i was jumped to the watch list i was at a, a watch setting and when i pressed apply i went to the uh, watch list okay and i can see now my watch the name is demo i can see the path the path that it uh, points to the event that uh, i'm monitoring is fc which stands for file create and the action that i'm going to do is execute with argument the last thing that i have to do now is to start the monitor and you can see that the color is changed and i can minimize the monitor to my system tray okay now let's test it okay i have here uh, two files both of these text files are encrypted files you can see that you cannot read the content of the files because i have encrypted them before now i will take one of those files and let's copy it and go to our drop folder and i will paste it and you have seen a fast blink of the batch file and the name of the file was changed and if i will open it now you can see that this file is decrypted and now you can all read the content of the file okay i will now just delete this file and i'm going to go and take those two files together now okay copy and i will pass them into this drop folder and you have seen another fast blink of the batch file and you can see that both files now are decrypted files and you can read the content of those files so it's very simple and i can also very easily do a vice versa process in which uh, the same process will uh, encrypt plain text files uh, that's it for now thank you